Good morning, I'm David Collins. I'm the founder of the Ubuntu Addiction Community Trust. I run the foundation clinic and I coach in the corporate space, a few executive and business coaching. I posted a video the other day entitled I'm Pissed Off, where I really expressed my feelings and how angry I was and frustrated I was. And uh, today's video, I want to talk about accountability and integrity. Uh, accountability is the ability to uh, hold myself to account for the, my actions and uh, the consequences thereof, to hold you to account to your actions and the consequences thereof, to hold us to account and to have the humility to allow myself to you to hold me account to my actions and the consequences thereof. Um, so one of the things of posting this video and being really angry around that uh, I upset my mom and my daughter thought I was uh, having a Sinead O'Connor rant. And this really isn't what this is about. Today I want to talk about uh, how I can use that anger as a motivation to get me back into integrity uh, with myself and with those around, around me. So. When I know that I'm out of integrity, I get a sense of feeling of guilt and shame. And um, shame for me is the, the driving force that really got me to get angry about myself and to go out there and to change my behavior. And I learned this many years ago, back in uh, 96, when I really made a decision to change my life and move from one direction into another direction. And I've spent the past 22 years doing that. And uh, my hope is that these videos will uh, teach and to explain and to kind of create the world that uh, I certainly want to see. My big, hairy, audacious goal is to cure the world of addiction. And to do that, I need to get angry around uh, what's not working in our lives. And um, I see it all the time. And uh, I've been doing this for a long time. And my video is really uh, an expression of my frustration around seeing so many people holding, not holding themselves to account to their actions and the consequences thereof. And uh, our president, Cyril Ramaphosa, has been in office for 101 days and it is so in our speech, he said at the end of his speech, he uh, first of all, he mentioned uh, the word putapele, which means people first. And then he ended off the speech with the humasakela saying, uh, something like, uh, I want to be there for the, for the poor, I want to be those, there for those suffering with HIV, I want to be there for the alcoholic, and I want to be there for the drug addict. And when he said those words, it really appealed to me, and I got really excited about it and motivated, because his words were aligned with my vision of curing the world of addiction in the spirit of Ubuntu. And the spirit of Ubuntu is we all suffer together, we all rise together. And I want to take my experience of working in corporate and working with leaders in power that how we can take the wisdom from there and to work in building uh, this nation. And um, so that's what my motive is. And uh, this is what these videos are about and what I'm trying to explain. I did create another video uh, on accountability and integrity, which is on the UACT YouTube site. But uh, this one I'm going to be posting to Facebook just seems to be getting uh, more reach and um, so accountability how can you hold yourself account to your actions how can you how do you know when you're out of integrity with yourself and how do you change that behavior and there are two emotions there's guilt and then there's shame so shame is for me is when I'm going against my own value system and guilt is when someone's come and told me that I've gone against their value system. And uh, I see a lot of uh, guilt and shame in society as people walking around. And uh, just to give you an example, to make it about me, of when I was working in the workplace, I arrived in Joburg and I've been working in a company for two years. I was a permanent employee. I'd started off as a contractor and I got a job spec and a role the role to fulfill and what would happen is I'd wake up in the morning and I'd go to work and I wouldn't fulfill the role that I was employed to do. I'd find all sorts of way of justifying how I wasn't able to do my job that I was employed for. And this had an immense impact on the company, the organization, but more importantly, it had an impact on my soul and my being because I was out of integrity with my word. 
And what I did do is uh, I changed that. And I see lots of people that are in the workplace that are unhappy there, that aren't taking responsibility for what the role call, calls for. And uh, because they're not doing that, that and they're angry and they're frustrated, that leaks out into the organization, which holds the organization back, which holds the economy back, which holds all sorts of, uh, um, creates all sorts of systemic challenges. So to be able to go and do a systemic intervention, to go in and change the culture of organization, you need to have the ability to hold people to account and the humility to allow people to hold you to account. So when you're in a position of power, you need to be able to allow the people at the bottom to hold you account and to be able to listen to that and to take what works and what doesn't work. And, um, to be in a very supportive type of environment. We need to move away from this top-down uh, command control tell paradigm, it's not working. When you tell adult people what to do, it creates resistance in themselves. And there's a whole lot of theory and uh, research around that that proves this. I'm not, I'm not this isn't what uh, work that I'm making up myself. This is all evidence-based, uh, research-based, uh, best practice-based that comes from uh, uh, you know, the, the best institutions around the world. And um, so once we've got the evidence and the facts and the understanding, why aren't we moving forward? Why aren't we changing? And the only reason for that is there's often a benefit in the wound. There's often a benefit in complaining complaining and whinging and moaning uh, creates a, a an addictive behavior that that uh, keeps systems stuck and uh, so I need to get angry to kind of wake people up to say do you want to change to actually stop and have a look around and say is this okay for you and uh, with the communities that we've worked with with the uh, people that we work with, with the families that we work with, when people wake up and they go, that's not okay, I want to do something about it, and I can do something about it, things change, systems change, people change, communities change, and we start to move forward. The spirit of Ubuntu is we all suffer together, we all rise together, and I'm getting pissed off and using that anger because we have the opportunity to rise up. So I'm, I'm taking time to make myself vulnerable, to put myself out there, to put my views out there, to speak my truth. And uh, my hope is that uh, it uh, wakes people up uh, to their brilliance, that they can actually do something. My personal mission in life is to empower personal responsibility. In uh, the Narcotics Anonymous literature, it says, there, through our inability to accept personal responsibility, we are actually creating our own problems. And that sentence had rung true for me for a long time. And um, it's always something that's played on in my head. So I personally needed to move from a victim type consciousness to one of a survivor. And I don't want to minimize any of the, the trauma that people have had in their lives. Uh, this country's been through a lot of trauma and uh, we need to take responsibility in healing that and uh, in moving forward and to making the changes. It's about having some hard conversations, about putting myself in a position of vulnerability where I can listen and uh, it's about me forming relationships and uh, allies with people that uh, need my support, need me to stand up and um, I'm doing my best here. So in closing, I just want to say, Mum, <laughs> it's okay, I'm, I'm doing all right. And uh, Natasha, I'm not having a nervous breakdown. I'm not having a rant. And uh, yeah, so accountability, integrity. Uh, I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.